Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today we're going to have a first look, unbox, and get everything set up for the Habi Smart Home Heating System. So the Habi Smart Heating System is a new product that hit the market in June this year, and it's currently exclusively only being sold in the UK through Screwfix. Now there's a few reasons I decided to pick this up. I purchased it myself, um, and so I want to talk about those before we get into it. So firstly, you might see in the news that Tado are now charging if you want to have your radiator valves control your heating system. I actually had their subscription already, but adding a paywall after a year of a product being out just turns me off. For that reason, I kind of started looking around to see if there were other options and trying to work out how I could get all of my heating automations into Apple Home. During this process, I stumbled across Habi, and in that process discovered there's basically no reviews for it. And as a tech reviewer, I thought, well, that's a great opportunity to buy one and see what it's like and bring you guys a review. So that review will be coming out. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Now, this is a affordable smart home system that is built on matter over thread. That means it's going to work with Apple Home, it's going to work with smart things, it's going to work with Google, it's going to work with Alexa. And as I said, it is affordable. That means if you get the wireless receiver for your boiler and the smart thermostat, that's going to cost you £80 and then the radiator valves cost £40 each. This actually makes this a pretty affordable system. Now, prior to purchasing it, I did have a bit of back and forth with the Habi support team, just trying to clarify some of the features and what it supported. And that was really useful because it told me that actually they respond to things pretty timely. Now, the big feature with this is that their smart radiator valves can control the heating. That means if the radiator valve in your room requires heat and the rest of the house doesn't, it can trigger on the boiler. Now, obviously for that to be most effective, you do need the radiator valves on every radiator in your house, but that's not what I've got. I've basically got three radiator valves in the upstairs of my house and downstairs is just controlled by the regular thermostat. That works well for me because generally in my house, the downstairs is always colder than the upstairs. That means if an upstairs room does need heat from one of the radiator valves, the chances are downstairs needs heat as well anyway. But because these are so affordable, I might add these to my downstairs radiators at some point anyway. If you don't want the radiator valves to control your heating, you can toggle this off in the Habi app as well. And it's also a good time to say that whilst these things are matter compatible, so we'll work with things like Apple Home, as I said, you do need to set everything up in the Habi app first. Now I am going to do a full review and that'll be out in about a month's time. But in the meantime, let's get into the unboxing and setup. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple box just with a kind of cardboard look. It's got some information on the back about it and what's included. Um, and so you can see you get a mounting screw, you get the thermostat, you get the boiler control, and you get some batteries. Um, and if we go inside, you can see straight away you've got that wall thermostat uh, and space for your two AA batteries on the back and of course the Matter QR code. We have all the usual instructions and things. Then we have the wireless receiver. One of the great things about this is there are physical controls on it, which means you can toggle the switch to on to turn on your heating or your hot water. Uh, you also don't have to use the hot water feature if you've got a combi boiler like me. Then we get the wall mount for the thermostat and then each of these little packets contains either fixings or the batteries. So one of the things I really like is that every single bit of the packaging for Havi is cardboard, so it's nice and eco-friendly. So if we go onto the radiator valve, you can see again, we've just got a very simple box. It tells us it works with Alexa, Apple Home, Google Home and smart things. And of course it's matter compatible. Now if we dive into the box, you can see that you get the Danfoss RA adapter, which I don't need. You get a little cardboard packet with your batteries in. And then of course you get the thermostat itself. Now this does look very much like the old B3 Tado thermostats. Uh, so it's just plain white and it's got a slide out cover and you can change the orientation if you want to as well. When it came to installing this, I was replacing my Tado. So I did consult the instructions. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, you should always get a professional to install it, but I have the same wiring and the same areas to put it. And so I could work that out pretty easily. So I basically installed the wires, got it mounted onto my wall, and then got it all configured in the app. Now, when you first open the Havi app, you are gonna to need to set up an account. There is an option for a demo account if you wanna check out the app beforehand. And then when you come to adding things in, it is relatively simple. You simply start off by creating a home and adding that wireless receiver. And to do that, you scan the QR code on the side of it. You connect it to your home Wi-Fi network, and then you add a location. So that's gonna be your home that your heating is set up in. From this point, you can add in your radiator valves and your thermostat. And to do each of those, you just scan the matter QR code um, and it works through setting all of that up. 
It doesn't add it to Apple Home as part of this. You will need to do that separately. And to do that, you go into the settings for the device you want to add to Apple Home and you grab the matter pairing code from that. You don't use the original one. But that setup is relatively easy, especially if you've already got a similar smart heating system you are replacing or a similar setup that you are replacing. So then the final thing to do will be to set up any heating schedules you want. Now, I'm just showing you a few things on the demo mode of the app for this, because I've actually set all of mine up in Apple Home so I can have automatic geofencing. That's because Habi doesn't support any kind of geofencing in their app. And actually, if like me, everyone in your house uses an iPhone, then it's really easy because they don't need to add an extra app to their phone. It's all just set up in Apple Home and happens automatically. It's also worth mentioning in the Habi app that there's features like temperature offset, where you can offset it to kind of plus or minus 2.5 degrees in 0.5 degree increments. And there's also things like child lock as well. So there you go, that was the unboxing and setup of the Habi Smart Home System. I've got another video out showing you how to set up a kind of whole heating schedule with geofencing in Apple Home because the Habi app doesn't support any geofencing. The other thing to note is that whilst that radiator valve that I showed you setting up paired absolutely perfectly, the others took a little bit more effort. I'm not quite sure why, I think there was probably some server issues going on with Habi when I was trying to configure them, uh, but I did find I had to do a couple of factory resets on each one in order to get them to pair. Uh, so just to say, really, if you're having issues pairing one, uh, perhaps you scan the QR code and it just kind of times out when it's setting up, give it a factory reset and then start again and it probably will work for you. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys again soon.